Cheek dimples are pretty cute. Did you know some people actually pierce their cheeks just to create those dimples? So cheek piercings actually leave pretty big scars. Not like terrible scars, but if you wanted to replicate an actual dimple in your cheek, this would be a way to do it once the jewelry's taken out. As far as the placement goes, the biggest thing is you don't wanna to go too far back on this one. If you go anything further back than like the first set of molars, you can run into a whole bunch of problems and complications, so don't go too far back. The placement, it's really, really tricky trying to get things symmetrical, because no one's face is symmetrical. So you just gotta do your best as far as the looks. Um, as far as the jewelry goes, you're definitely gonna wanna be using a barbell and a long one at that. A lot of times people are using three quarters, sometimes even inch, inch plus to actually heal these up. The cheeks do swell a lot. As far as the inside of the cheek, you can either use a disc or some sort of bead or half dome. It's whatever you're most comfortable with, but you don't wanna use anything too small because that tissue on the inside is real soft and beads and discs that are real small will get sucked in there. So make sure you put something sizable enough where it's not gonna go in, but not too big where you're chomping down on it either. This piercing does take a long time to heal. I generally tell people six months to a year before you can even go to the actual size of jewelry when it's fully downsized because the swelling does fluctuate so much just be patient, you gotta eat slow because, well, with a big bar in your mouth like that, you're bound to bite down and do damage to your teeth. So you need to be super, super careful about it. Sometimes people actually even downsize a couple times before they finally get to the final destination of the length of the bar they need to have in there. Now, as far as problems go, this is a big one, and this is a reason why I personally don't perform this piercing. So there's a pretty well-known piercer by the name of Elaine Angel. She actually had these piercings for a while before she started developing a lot of problems. And the problems I'm talking about is saliva started leaking out of the side of her cheeks. I guess the reason being is the salivary glands kind of migrated or the piercing migrated and it just opened up and she couldn't get it to stop leaking out of her piercings. So she went in, she had them cauterized, tried burning them shut. Um, I'm not sure what else she did, but she did have a lot of complications in trying to get them shut up. So you gotta be careful and be aware that this is a possibility, even if you think you're all the way healed up. It is something that has happened and has been documented. So be careful and keep this in mind if you're getting this piercing. So the salivary problem isn't a real common issue. I guess the biggest issue is gonna be biting down and doing damage to your teeth. So you need to be careful and be super, super diligent about eating slower at first and then downsizing when you can get that shorter bar in there. So I've never had my cheeks pierced with jewelry, but I've actually had cheek skewers. I wonder if I have a picture. Yeah, there, see, I've had a cheek skewer and that actually didn't hurt very much and that wasn't done with a needle. So the needle should be less painful than what I went through and that wasn't, let's check out the painometer. That's pretty right. It's really not that bad. For as thick as the piercing is, you would expect it to be more painful. But if you've ever had any sort of oral piercing, generally it's not the piercing that hurts, it's the aftercare and the swelling. So I mentioned it earlier, I don't actually do these piercings. I'm not completely opposed to them. I've actually had friends who've healed them up. I know other piercers who actually do them and there's nothing wrong, but there is that possibility of long-term damage and I don't really like to be responsible for anything with that sort of risk involved. So what do you think? Is the risk worth the reward for a cheek piercing? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you learned anything and you enjoyed my video, make sure to give me a like, make sure to subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. See y'all in the next video.